वेलकम वी हैड इनफ डिस्कशंस ऑन टाइम वेरिंग फील्ड एंड मैक्सवेल्स इक्वेशंस सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग समथिंग मोर इंटरेस्टिंग दैट इज वेव्स टू बी स्पेसिफिक इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स the electromagnetic waves are said to exist if maxwell's equations are satisfied everywhere in the space where we are considering this electromagnetic wave yeah, don't worry if you did not get my point come to that later i just told that here because to get a connection between what we have discussed in the previous video to carry forward to this particular video what is maxwell's equation so we have studied maxwell's equation i have stressed what is the physical significance of maxwell's equation or what is the importance of remembering the mathematical equations of maxwell these mathematical equations will be used in a significant way to understand what are electromagnetic waves so when i say wave what comes to your mind yeah for most of our mind if you are near to coastal city or if you have watched enough bollywood drama movies a wave is a sea wave or an ocean wave for us the moment i say wave and beach side comes to your mind a beach comes to your mind isn't it i hope majority will agree with me nothing wrong here too to understand the wave i would recommend you to imagine that you are on a beach side nice during a sunset time even nice should feel better now so you can see water right forming waves when it is coming near to the shore i will not get into scientific reasons of that particular wave but you know that it is basically the pressure difference which is creating that wave you will not find wave deep in the deep into the sea even when you stay or stand beach side and if you look deep into the sea with your naked eyes you can never see waves right at far, far from you like maybe 100 meter or so right so these waves when it when the water approaches or when the water is near the beach it forms these waves due to the pressure difference basically we'll not look into all the reasons yeah why what i am why i am putting this forward putting this forward because you should have the feeling that we are going to study or we are going to develop significance both physically and mathematically how such kind of kind of wave is generated and how behavior of such particular wave can be understand or studied so for us waves are basically means of transferring energy or information from one point to another point or we say waves are means of transferring information from source to destination so a point where if there is a point a point where the wave starts is source and if there is a point where this wave ends then that particular point can be termed as destination so this is directly taken from basic english okay source and destination and now you understood 
how a wave will look like because yeah right and you understood that we are going to take up maxwell's equation in its mathematical form and use it to explain something related to wave these two points are very clear by now okay now I look at the figure what i have on my screen yeah i know you were staring at that figure for some time now and i did not talk about it there's nothing much to talk about it because that figure itself is yeah speaking to you already i just want to convey you that the visibility is due to light waves and the audibility is due to sound waves is not necessary for you to understand in deep what i mean but when you are looking at the screen you are able to see uh, many things on the screen different colors what is written there all these things are you are in your perception in the sense all these things are as an image in your brain that's why you are able to see that so actually it is light uh, okay you are not agreeing okay you switch off okay you sit in a dark room put on the lights and view the screen switch off the light okay view the screen yeah you can still view the screen why because the screen itself is providing you the light required for viewing that particular information in contrast you are reading something in a dark room you have a book in your hand and suddenly the power goes off okay can you read it no you have visibility you you will run around like in some comedy movies that you lose your visibility oh i am blind because you know okay you even though you know that you know it you know it back of mind back of your mind it's 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 not to you that it is a light a light is required to see the things around us so basically as an electromagnetic engineer i will tell that light waves are responsible for visibility now you have to agree with these examples same way i would put forward that sound waves are necessary for audibility that's why even though your capacity or your audibility is very good if there is some obstacle between the source of sound and the place you are sitting even though the sound is very near the source is like 10 meter 20 meter to you but you have so many obstacles in between you will not be able to hear that sound properly that is because these waves sound waves generated from the source is not able to travel up to your ear your ear drum so it is starting from the source but it is getting stuck in between somewhere or it is obstructed somewhere it's not able to travel towards you it is traveling somewhere else you are keeping this two in mind okay i'm just trying to give you some physical perspect of these waves okay nothing else so i uh, i would say that light waves help us to see things and sound waves help us to hear things that is nice and i have used an electronic gadget or i have used a smartphone to explain to you in this figure because uh, most of us are now on us sorry uh, smartphones are now our on us they on us right no no not o n o w n they on us A smartphone on us. So that's why I have used smartphone here. Okay, now just to make this interesting. So I hope 
now the things are getting more clear to you what is the physical significance of waves in our day to day life it is not just enjoying a sunset evening in the beach waves are everywhere around you in you and we don't realize it until we think about it we study about it so today in this video is the right time to study more about waves because you are now eager to know more about waves so the definition of a wave can we put it something like this a wave is a physical phenomenon that occurs at one place at a given time and is reproduced at some other place at a later time if there is a physical phenomenon something like this then that physical phenomenon can be called as a wave this is the basic definition i would say to understand this basic definition i can go with one more physical example okay i'll run through that example you want to see in ponds right water water body pond which is having a still water you you were enjoying that still water as well but if somebody comes and or you yourself felt very bored right on side of a pond you just took a stone from there and you pelted a stone to the river uh, sorry to the water body that is to the pond what happens few of us might have done this right few might have done this so you put a stone you pelt a stone into the still water body what is generated from nowhere ripples are generated right that water body was still nobody would have expected a second back or a moment back that this still water body has some energy in it to produce such kind of ripples if you pelt a very big stone into this still water body it will form more higher ripples more faster ripples the water body once disturbed will produce these ripples what are these ripples these ripples are nothing but waves if you are successful in pelting this stone to the center of the pond these water ripples will form form right it will it will start from the point of contact of the stone and it will distribute themselves to the sides of the pond nice so basically what does it tells you it's energy what does it tells you it's basically kinetic energy it was having some potential energy now that pelting of the stone converted that energy into kinetic energy so basically an energy transfer is taking place there that's why initially in the beginning of this video i told you that waves are the means of transferring energy from one point to another point now is that point very clear so i'll repeat the definition a wave is a physical phenomenon that occurs at one place at a given time and reproduce at other place at a later time is best available definition that's why i have taken the definition there are many other definitions and with this you have to remember one more i'll make it now we were we were very abstract we were very general now we have to slowly take this concept of waves into our deep into our subject doing so i would say that wave is a function of time and space i repeat i say that wave is a function of time and space that means what does it mean if you want to visualize a wave or if you want to study the behavior of a wave both space and time is to be calculated is required i'll take the same example of producing a ripple in still water you pelt the stone you put the stone there at that particular time maybe 10 am 3 seconds you pelted the stone 10 am 5 seconds 
10 am 10 seconds maybe next 20 seconds that ripples will be there in that still water agree and where will be that ripples will that ripples still at the source no as the time passes by these ripples travels right it travels from the point of contact of the stone to the sides of the pond so it is traveling where it is traveling it is traveling in the pond space so it is consuming space from the center of the pond to the sides of the pond it is consuming the space as well as it is consuming time this doesn't happen at single time at that time at instantaneous time it doesn't happen instantaneously it happens time by time at zero second if you pelt the stone out of two seconds it it forms start forming ripples at 5 seconds the ripples almost reach half the way after 10 seconds or 20 seconds these ripples are going to reach the sides of the still body water body i hope this is very clear now so any wave created at the source will be a function of time and space so other typical examples of electromagnetic waves you can take as the tv signals you watch television daily on a daily basis right most of us are tv goers we watch tv so the tv signals whichever we are getting or the radio waves if you are listening to fm frequency modulated waves these are the different examples of waves okay if you are thinking about our defense radar beam radar beams laser beams so there are different ways of connecting whatever we have understood so far into the real world so the purpose of this video was just to give you a feeling that most of the physical activities or physical senses we which we practice in our day to day life are part of successful functioning of waves or waves in are involved in most of our day to day senses or activities till this point of time or till you watch this video we are not aware of it or maybe few of you were aware but we don't think much about it now this is the right time to think deep into wave understand the physical significance of wave and how we can make use of the interdependency equations given by maxwell in deriving or in expressing these waves in a useful mathematical form so we'll discuss about that in next video Bye.